asked real couples to watch the new HBO series, Tell Me You Love Me. Here's what they said about episode 10. What are you doing? I'm showing off for you. Oh, it's working. Good. I really got the sense that Jamie was really happy, that she really, really missed Hugo and she felt complete with him. I don't think she was happy with Hugo the first time because she was letting her own issues get in the way. And so if she continues to deal with them, I think they'll stay together. But I think they make each other happy. I think, I, I didn't think before they had a chance, but now I do. I'm still skeptical. Do people in the suburbs not take their clothes off to have sex? Am I the only person who gets naked yeah, for sex? I if I only get to have sex once a year, I'm getting completely naked and I'm gonna get sex. Now I understand why they're so uncomfortable with each other sexually, because if you and I did that, naked. I would, I, you know, the next morning I would wake up and be like, <laughs> what the hell? Carolyn. Just leave. You're only here because it's gone. That's why you came, because I lost it. It's not true. Just, I don't want you, I don't need you here, just leave. Speaking as someone who has said really bad things and not meant them, I hope that they can be forgiven. That's a little hypocritical because when mean things are said to me, I remember them forever, but I try to remember that, you know, sometimes you say things in anger, you're saying them out of pain. The person's in a lot of pain. I think Carolyn was in a lot of pain when she was saying that. Her world was falling apart. I've done that in relationships where I, I've said hurtful things. I, I think I feel like a cornered animal and I, I come out fighting for my life. And because it's a f you're in a fight with someone you love, you really shouldn't be out to kill them. You should be trying to resolve conflict, not trying to take them out. Oh yeah, Danielle. <laughs> Danielle will try to uh, you know deliver the old knockout punch occasionally. That's that's fine. Doesn't hurt me. It's not. I'm and I'm. I've been better. I'm trying to stop. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't help anything. Unfortunately, I've taught this technique to John, and now he's good at it. Right. The one thing a therapist can do, perhaps in times of darkness, is turn a light on. I've been listening to you, and I think we've accomplished that. The trick now is not to be so stunned by the glare that you want to turn it back off. I was a little terrified yeah. about talking about our personal relationship in front of people. And let's just say one person yells at another person for saying things that may be too exposing. I'm not saying who does it. And you can probably it. figure out what those things are by watching the tape and seeing the expression on my face when it happens. I think this show brings up a lot of issues that people aren't talking about. I think it makes people think and it makes people uncomfortable. But and it I makes think you yeah, horny. That's the most important thing. Watch that's it That's not the bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I, I, think, couples who, I think couples who haven't had sex in a long time are having sex after this show. Or and I think that's a good thing. Or having awkward conversations that are long overdue. It's real life erotica.